another iPhone video real quick, guys. I, I do not want to hold you up. Let's get right into it. If you're just stuck, things aren't working, or how you perceive it should be working, you're confused in what direction you, you should take in parts of your life, silence everything for a second. Turn everything off. You get home from work, it's your day off, whatever. Find time, turn everything off. Your car ride home from work or from the gym or wherever you're going, turn everything off. You need to start getting more in tune with yourself. Stop looking for external answers, external answers, external validation, external motivation. We spoke about that before. External distractions when the answers are inside, guys. The answers are inside. With the videos that I've made and it resonated with a lot of you out there, all I was speaking to was something that was already inside of you. I just amplified it. It's not me. I've said this before. I'm just the vessel. I get the message vessel and I send it out. Things didn't change until I went within. That's why I say you don't want motivation, you want inspiration. The phone, the music, the podcast, the this, the text, the all of that is drowning out the answers. When a lot of times if you just turn everything off, and have a conversation with yourself. You might look crazy, whatever, but just ask questions, open up, think, allow your brain to go through the scenarios, allow your brain to go to some of the dark areas in your thoughts, allow your brain to go into those dark areas and you have to live with it. You have to be it. You cannot get distracted from it by turning on music. So now you get distracted. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to deal with it. Yeah, you got to go to the dark side. And ask those hard, cold questions. Things that you've been putting off. Things that you know you should deal with. But you put it off. You'll get to it. Oh, Joe Rogan just released a new podcast. Let me listen to this. No. It's time for you to deal with yourself. I used to try to distract myself with everything from the vices to the this to the that, you name it. Distractions, distractions, distractions. Because I did not want to face hard truth. I didn't want to face hard reality. I didn't want to take responsibility for where I was, where, what I was doing in my life. I had to just silence everything. I do that now, every day. Car ride home, even the gym. That's why even the gym, I don't listen to use headphones and things. I go within. When I'm doing cardio and this and that, it, I'm going within. I'm going to those dark areas. Learning about myself, discovering myself. You gotta discover yourself again, guys. You gotta learn about yourself. Learn why. You don't resonate with this, but you resonate with that. Learn, understand why you feel convicted to try this, but you don't want to do that. Why is it not working? Like I said before, have the self audit. I had to do all of those things before the answers would come. Because I would just play victim. Like, oh, it's because of this, because of that, blah, 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 blah. No, it's me. I'm the issue. I have to be responsible for my decisions, my actions. You can't put the blame on anybody else doesn't, because it doesn't matter. And plus, like we said before, nobody cares. So I had to just turn off the phone. Turn off the ringer. No, there's no TV. No podcast, no music. We got to start... We got to figure this out. As I started to do that, I gained more clarity. 
a lot of times we just need clarity. We don't even know why we feel like this because we don't give an opportunity to ourselves. And then responsibilities, you may have a family, you may have this, you may have that. You're getting pulled in all these different directions. I get it. But if you cannot be the best version of yourself, how can you give it to the ones that you love? How? I have to make sure I am the best version of myself first and foremost so that I can give it away. And what has helped me was silencing everything and listening to that inner voice that's telling you. That voice is telling you. You know you need to be doing this. That voice is telling you this isn't you. The voice is telling you, hey, get focused here. But we choose to just, hey, whatever. We choose, nah, that's, what, nah, nah. it's hocus pocus. I'm telling you, get back to yourself. Silence everything and allow that inner voice, have that inner monologue with yourself and you'll be surprised what answers you get. Let's go.